I cut these two trees down, smaller trees, nothing big, that were kind of in the way of trying to move around our barn with our equipment. And so, but they're not big enough to make lumber out of, so I'm going to make a, an art of, a, a natural fishing reef out of them. And we, we had this piece of equipment rented to do some other work at the house we had a big beam we got to put up and so i thought while well, i've got this equipment here i'm going to use it to move these trees out into this uh pond and and that way the fish can eat so I, I have these two trees let me show you they were uh, in the way at the barn we i was having a hard time getting my tractor and my stuff around and they just they you know they're probably 10 years old they finally just grew up and got big enough that they had to go they don't have any lumber value they don't have any post value and i hated to just burn them so i'm fixing to take them out here to the pond and i'm going to put them out in the pond and the bass will love it they'll they'll get they'll live in it i got this piece of equipment that we have rented for uh, another project that we're working on and so i just thought well i'm gonna kill two birds with one stone while i got this piece of equipment we'll get this done so stick around Well, I just killed a birdhouse, but that post was surely rotten because I just hit it with those branches and it pushed it over. So the post had to be rotten. So I just wanted to show you real quick how far, see if I can get far enough away from it, how far out that arm sticks. I mean, that's probably 25 feet that it's sticking out. So I've, so I've taken it and pushed that tree, those trees as far out into the pond as I can. This is right at the start of the dam. And so right here, it's pretty deep. This is probably uh, eight or 10 feet deep right here. So those things are going to sink to the bottom. The bass are going to love it. They're going to school up in there and it'll be a great home for them. All 
I, I know you can still hear that machine running in the background and that takes away a little bit, but um, I, I just wanted to show you the kind of the end result. So here we have the two trees out here. They're probably 15 feet off the bank. Um, what you see right now is a lot of limbs. Earlier I said they were in about eight or 10 feet of water. I think they're probably in four to five feet of water now though, but that's okay because the bass, they want shelter. And if you notice when we built this pond, it's kind of dark, you can't really see, but there are stumps and trees and all sorts of stuff out here. And, and we left those things intentionally because the bass like to live under them, around them. Hot summertime, it gives them a little shade, they'll move to deeper water. And, then, and down here in the deep end of the pond, we left a bunch of logs and trees laying down. The pond's getting old enough though, a lot of that stuff rotted out and flooded out. We've had a couple of big floods in the last five years that have pushed stuff out. And so what a great way to recycle what God gave us, the trees that were in the way, right? Like, I'm sorry, God, you just planted them in the wrong place. And, um, and so I moved them down here. We're gonna use them in the pond as a shelter for the fish. Had the great opportunity with the lull to move them and make it a lot easier on me. And so I took that opportunity. And uh, so, you know what, probably by two months from now, when the bass move down to this end of the pond in the deeper water in the summer, we'll be fishing on those trees, catching bass. All right, thanks y'all, hope you enjoyed it. Be sure, oh, be sure I always forget. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you'll get to see all of our videos and, and be sure to hit the notifications button. I think it looks like a bell. And, and what it'll do is every time, if you push that button, every time we post a new video, it'll send you a message that says, hey, Shepherding Outdoors posted a new video. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook and Instagram too. Hey, we love y'all. Thank you. God bless.